Now over the last couple of weeks, I've been riding these scooters and I put out a review video on each one of them. These are made by a company called Leo Out and they are high powered dual motor scooters. These things are so close in design that there's only small differences that make one better than the other. Now, as you guys know, these are both 2,800 watt scooters. They run off a 52 volt system and both of them have a 25 amp hour battery with dual controllers that are 29 amps, making these things go upwards of 50 miles an hour. They're absolutely blazing down the road fast. It's incredible. Now, neither one of these scooters excelled at off-road usage, so much so that I actually didn't even enjoy riding them through my yard. But once I got them out on the road, I realized that's where the suspension shines. It's definitely more of a road-style suspension to pick up some of those small cracks and small bumps in the road. Off-road, not so much. Now, each one of them has the exact same cockpit minus the handlebars. The nice thing about the SX10 is that it actually uses a mountain bike stem and handlebar setup. So you can easily replace or change these out to some type of style or size that you prefer. Now with the GT88, you do get the benefit of having the folding handlebars, but you can't change them out. So this is what you get. You do not get any other choice. Now the other benefit other than being able to fold the GT88 is that this has three different heights. It can go all the way down to 31 inches, all the way up to about 38, where the SX10 is fixed. You can't raise it anymore. You would have to buy a different stem to be able to raise up these handlebars. Now both of these systems, like I said, are 52 volt with 25 amp hour batteries. They do have dual chargers in both of them. So you can run a two amp charger to each port and basically cut that time in half. So instead of it taking around 14 hours to charge this 25 amp hour battery, you're looking at about seven hours total. Now both the scooters have the exact same drivetrain, but they also have the exact same brake setup. These run Jake Super Brake disc brakes, and let me tell you, those are not the best brakes. They will work, but like I said in both videos, that's one of the first things that I would recommend you upgrade is go to some sort of hydraulic brake. Now, if you're into lights and you want your scooter to look flashy as you ride down the road at night, the GT88 is gonna be the model that you're gonna wanna go with. It has a front headlight just like the SX10, but it has additional lights on the side that are LEDs that light up and change colors. Pretty cool. But also in the back, there are four different lights, including two additional turn signals. So the lights that are built onto the scooter base on this one do work as a brake light, where the lights that are built onto the SX10 in the back, they only work as blinkers. So on the GT88 for safety and looks, it's definitely gonna win in the light category. Now, when it comes to foldability, definitely the GT88 won this in my book with a really quick unlock and lock system and the ability to be able to lower those handlebars and fold the bars actually in, that would be a huge selling point for me. But the bigger thing is, is that whenever you fold this handle down, it actually locks in place. And whenever it locks in place, you can use the main handle as a handle to carry it around. As we saw with the SX10, that's not an option. You fold it down, the handle just pulls right back up. It doesn't actually lock down to the scooter itself, which is a really big downfall when it comes to trying to manage this thing whenever you're getting it in and out of a car or a really small space. Now, both scooters are definitely not lightweights. They weigh right around 70 pounds, which is extremely heavy, but not as heavy as some of these scooters get. So if you're looking for high power, but not extremely heavy weight, 70 pounds is gonna be considered a lighter scooter in this category when it comes to this much power. Now, when it came to speed and hill climbing, these things are almost identical. I did find that the SX10 on my hill climb climbed a little bit quicker than the GT88, but I did another hill test with my friend Brad. We raced these things up a very, very steep hill and he caught the jump on me in the GT88, but I just could not catch him at all on the SX10. 
Now, he couldn't leave me and I wasn't catching up, so these things are pretty much identical when it comes to power. Now, when it comes to using that power and being comfortable on the road, I definitely feel like the SX10 wins out because its suspension overall made the ride so much smoother and at times it definitely made it feel more stable. Now when it comes to price on these, that does make a big difference. You're looking at $999 for this particular scooter. If you use my links below for a limited time, you can get $100 off. So this one would run about $900 for the GT88, where this one would run right around $1,000. Regular retail on it right now is $1,100, but with that link for a limited time, you can actually save an additional hundred bucks. So for me, if you wanted to have fancy lights and you wanted to have foldability, I would go with the GT88. But if you want more smooth comfort riding, then I would definitely go with the SX10. This suspension just seems to work a little bit better. Plus this scooter is a little bit longer at about four feet, five inches, where the GT88 comes in right at four feet. So if it were me right now, I would definitely choose the SX10 just because of the suspension and the longer wheelbase. And I'm not in a situation where I would be folding up my scooter a lot. But if I was in that situation where I wanted to fold it, put it in the trunk of a car or in the back of a truck, I would definitely go with the GT88. Either way, you're gonna get a really cool scooter, high powered, super fun to ride around on. But one thing you wanna make sure you do is always wear your safety gear with these because they are scary fast. I mean, insanely fast. And whenever you first get on them, you will be surprised at how quick these things accelerate, even in the lowest setting. But out of the two, which scooter would you guys pick? Would you go with the GT88 or would you go with the SX10? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys in the next one.